Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Sambit Mukherjee and welcome to my YouTube channel SM360 Degrees. Let's discover. On several occasions, I have seen bushfires in Pune. I have seen bushfires not only in the hills surrounding the Life Republic Township but also inside the Life Republic Township. These fires are either lit up by accident or somebody purposefully lets them. There was a huge bush grown up inside the campus and you can see during the night time people had lit it purposefully which we can see right now. From here it looks like the fire is normal but you can just compare the size of the fire with the cars and motorbikes passing by. Then you will understand how huge the fire is. See you can see one car passing by and you can see the size of the fire. It's almost 3 to 4 times its size. What I mean to say is that if somebody goes near it, he'll be burned down. You can easily make out that the distance from where I am taking this photograph is quite far from the place where the fire is burning. But still from this far, we can hear the burning sound. Just listen. One fine day I was working and heard some putt but sound, which you get when a dry stick burns. At first I ignored it, but when the sound started to become louder and louder, I decided to just peep out of my window and check what exactly was going on. During the rainy season, there is greenery all around Pune and it looks really very beautiful. Many tourists visit Pune due to this scenic beauty and when this rainy season has gone by, the next dry season, all this greenery dries up and sometimes the summer temperature can be so high that these dry bushes catch fire. When I reached the window, I could see that the dry bushes which had grown in between the Sector 3 and Sector 4 of the Life Republic Township had caught fire. At first, it looked like a normal fire and nothing to worry. But within seconds, the entire dry bushes got engulfed in it and there was a huge fire running in between the third sector and fourth sector of the Life Republic Township. You can see on the right hand side, all the dry bushes which are already burned down have turned black. Even the land looks like it turned black. You can also hear the burning sound. It's so loud that you are able to hear at this distance too. Along with the fire, you can see so much of smoke getting discharged due to this fire. This went on for a couple of hours till the entire place had burned down and turned into black. By this time the local facilities people were also alerted and here we can see they are inspecting the fire.
we can see people taking risk and passing by this dangerous fire. From time to time it looked like the fire was out but eventually the flames would erupt and it would go burning down all the remaining dry bushes. Here yeah, it looks like eventually the fire is out, but mind you it's not. Here you can see the fire is back again. Here we can see one more bike rider is risking his life and passing by the dangerous fire.
after inspecting and observing the fire for some time the local facilities people try to extinguish this fire by their own tactics and here you can see them pulling out the fire horse pipe however it looked like they were totally inexperienced in doing this as they were laughing and enjoying the moment and were not understanding the seriousness of this When they were unable to pull the fire horse pipe they became a little bit serious meanwhile the fire kept burning the remaining dry bushes Just like in the movies where we see at the end the police comes to rescue the good people here also finally the fire brigade came when the fire had almost burned down the entire dry bushes Here we can see one fire brigade was coming to the rescue and it looks like the fire is almost out and at that time it has come by this time even the far end right of all the dry bushes have been engulfed in the fire as can be seen the fire is ranging on the far right side now and we can see these smokes coming out from that end By this time the facilities people were able to carry the fire horse pipe a little bit further. However, we can see how inexperienced they are and how serious they are. They are literally struggling to hold the fire horse pipe and here you can see they are laughing and enjoying the moment. I wouldn't let it know. 
Meanwhile, the fire brigade is speeding to the far right end to extinguish the fire from that end. At this moment, the facilities team were able to pull the fire hose pipe a little bit further and I think so, it looks like they are able to handle the fire hose pipe properly now. Here we can see that most of the dry bushes have been burned down and the land has turned into black. Even some mid-sized plants got totally burned down and they were dead after the fire was out. Meanwhile, the facilities team were able to unroll the fire horse pipe and carry it to the direction of the fire. It all looked like that they were totally unprepared for this situation. Finally, the facilities team were able to start the fire horse water supply as we can see here. The fire brigade bus can also be seen standing nearby. Looks like it was successful in rousing all the fire at the far right end. We can see the fire brigade bus standing in front of us. It seems that some of the flames are still burning near the R3 sector which is posing a danger to the residents of that particular sector. So the fire brigade are trying to drowse the final flames which are still burning. I had thought that the water jet would be much more thicker. But here you can see it's really very thin when compared to the fire hose which we usually see in normal fire brigades.
the fire flames were still burning near the R3 sector boundary. Hence the fire brigade personnel got down from the fire brigade bus and now he is drowsing the fire as we can see. Nobody including me knew how this fire got caught. Was it due to friction of two dry leaves or twigs or somebody purposefully had lit it? Nobody knows. It's said, everything is well that ends well. So finally, all the fire was put out and the Life Republic Township was one more time at peace. That's all in today's episode. I hope you liked today's episode. In case you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends and family members. You can also share it in your favorite WhatsApp groups. I'll be back with a fresh and new video pretty soon. Till then, take care of yourself and your loved ones. Goodbye. Peace.